here. So uh, I'm adding this clip at the end of the um, the track day vlog. So I think that was the second track day of the year for the um, for the cart track. Um, I, wow, I've actually done two big bike track days and then and then two uh, two small bike track days. So um, anyway, so uh, this uh, this clip after the video is gonna be a uh, focusing on the uh, the lap times and stuff okay so I kind of I've, uh, I've watched all the videos and I compiled all the times and so now we can see like which bikes are faster obviously the this one with the Sauron battery is gonna be the slowest because it's the Sauron battery you know it's old school <laughs> um, but uh, we I use the uh, KLX 170 as a benchmark for the uh, for the light B 72 volt battery okay with the, uh, with the BAC 2000. So uh, as of this as of this video, I already have the BAC 4000 installed. So I've never taken the BAC 4000 to the track. I will get to in a couple weeks, so that should be interesting to get some uh, data on that guy. Um, I'd imagine it's probably a little bit faster. So, um, but yeah. So let's uh, let's go take a look at all the data, and then uh, and then that that'll be the end of the vlog. Okay. Okay, welcome to Hades Omega's uh, lap times. Okay, so here I have, a, I have everything inputted in the Evernote. I think I, I did nine lap sessions. It could be ten if you counted. Um, the last one was kind of like an endurance session. We did 19 laps. I think that's the most we did out of all the sessions. Okay, um, I tried to keep each lap session to about 15 minutes. Okay, the last one was last one was almost 30 minutes okay um, it was it's it says 19 laps but I actually went on the track before this and I like I put out like two or three more laps so but I didn't get that on video so because it, it was like so short so so technically this is this lap session was almost 30 minutes long so twice as much as the other ones and you could see by the uh, how many laps we did so this one we did 12 laps and this one we did 19 so so just eh, just a little bit longer, and I was surprised how um, how long it it kept in there. Okay, definitely, definitely. The more you ride the the light B on the track, the slower it's gonna get because your voltages are getting lower. Um, the KLX, the gas bike doesn't have that problem. It's pretty much the performance is pretty much the same all the time. Okay, um, except you know when it gets colder, it runs better, but. Uh, it's kind of like a balance between uh, how much grip you get and how much power you get. Less less temperature, you get better better power, but but uh, you get worse grip, you know. And then it's the opposite for the if if it's if it's hotter, you know. Um, anyway, so here's the numbers. So this is the first lap session. Um, we did ten laps. Um, also, each lap session there's a W right here, so that's a warm up lap. So the first the first time we hop on the track that's the warm-up lap because it's not like a whole lap we can't get a time from it okay so that all of them are like that so there's there's technically there's really one more lap but that's the warm-up lap and we can't get a time for that because it's not the thing it's not the same thing of you know <laughs> okay so the first one was a uh, light B 72 volts at 25% field weakening okay I think we were running I think we we're running like 16,000 or 15,000 watts something around there um, so you can see we did 10 laps and the fastest times were like the last laps that's interesting because usually usually with the light B the faster laps are like the earlier laps because like I said that when your state of charge goes down your bike gets slower right well that it must have been Hades Omega was not warmed up yet <laughs> okay we just got to the track and you know Hades Omega is still trying to figure things out trying to figure that track out so um, yeah, so that means like Hades and Mega started figuring stuff out by the end here, okay? So our fastest time was 114.99 and we got that twice on the ninth and 10th lap, okay? And then the average time was 115.9, okay? So I, I compiled all of these datas, the, the, the fastest times and the average times uh, at the bottom of this list. So we can take a look at them after that, so, okay? So it looks like we were doing like, yeah, it looks like we we're doing about 115. You, know, you can might even call that a 116, but I think the average time, uh, 115, okay? All right, so here's our first KLX 170 um, uh, lap time. So I want to talk about the KLX 170 a little bit. 
Um, the KLX 170 is a pretty fast bike, okay? I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's got better suspension than the Light B. It's got better tires than the Light B. Uh, it, everything is, is better on it, other than it's heavy and, like, yeah, it, it beats you up riding it, man. Um, uh, I, could, I could definitely ride the Light B longer than the KLX 170, okay? Just because it was a lot lighter, it was, easy, you know, it's easier to twist the throttle, all that kind of stuff, you know? Um, so, so yeah. Um, the KLX 170 is pretty fast. Not gonna lie, Hayes Mega put a lot of work into that bike, and and I love riding it, you know. But I like riding the Light B too. So, all right. So the KLX 170 first lap session. Uh, it looks like we got the fastest time 110.9. Okay, and our average times are 113. So if you look at this one, wow, <laughs> it's, it's a lot faster. The KLX is a lot, almost five seconds faster when it fastest lap times and the average times, right? It's about two, almost three seconds faster than the than the Light B with the BSC 2000 controller and 72 volt battery. Okay. Okay, so for the third lap session, we had the Light B with 10% field weakening, so we just kind of turned the field weakening down to 10%. So to see how that does. Um, and our fastest time was 112.19. Okay, actually, we're getting pretty close now. Yeah, so we've got actually we actually got a lot faster by turning the field weakening down. So I'm guessing you know the field weakening it's heating the battery and the and the motor up, and so it's causing it to like maybe slow the bike down, th thermal cut back, you know that kind of thing. Um, but it was also colder too, so I don't. I'm not sure. Either. I think this is Hades Mega still trying to figure out what what's going on. So I'm not warmed up yet. So so yeah, I did ride the Light B a lot better the third lap session. Okay, one twelve nineteen. That's a two. That's like a, almost a three second improvement in fastest lap time, and then the average was one fourteen thirty. Mm, give that a one second in the average time. So. So I got a little bit faster, and the bike wasn't faster, but the bike, the, the the bike's power wasn't more faster because you know the field weakening was turned down, but I rode it faster, I rode it better, okay, I guess, okay, and then so here's our first lap session, the fourth one with the light B, um, with the Suron battery, the 60 volt battery, okay, our fastest time was 115.44, that's like three seconds slower than that. The last one, and then 117.2 for the average time. So it's it's really slower. It's almost like four four seconds slower, yeah. And and it's like a lot slower than the KLX. So um, yeah. So that just shows you how you know how how big a difference the 60 volt versus the 72 volt. Now this is a stock battery. It has a stock VMS. It's not bypassing or anything. So so the the 60 volt battery could be faster. Okay, so here's the second KLX 170 lap session. Uh, we ran the fastest of 111 and then an the average of 112. So, okay, so 111 and 112. How do we do compared to the last lap session? 111. Oh, wow. We actually got. We actually got. Slower fastest lap. I think that was my fastest lap on the KLX, anyways. Um, I, I mean, it's the last session again, too. That's kind of funny. It's the last lap. Um, and then 113, so and then we had a 112, right? So we got our average times actually got a little bit better, but our fastest times got so mm, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's kind of weird. All right, so this is a light B 60 volt. It says low regen. It's pretty much no regen, okay? I pretty much just use the regular brakes. So I thought that was kind of could be an interesting test to see how the light B is without using the regen if I'm faster on the track or not. Okay, so. Um, 115.87 is the fastest, and then 116, that's almost a 117 uh, average time, okay? Compared to the other light B, it is 115 and 117. What, what, what happened? 115, it didn't really make much of a difference. Yeah, Honestly, those lap times are almost the same, okay? Uh, okay, so the next light B with the 72 volt battery session. Aha, so there we go. So the, our fastest lap was the second lap. Okay, so that goes to show like, yeah, it, it's got a lot more power. 
Um, I was only be able to, I was only able to dip into the twelves once, and then the, and I didn't even get a one thirteen. So, so yeah. So the average time was one fourteen nine, and one twelve. Well, let's compare that to the other uh, KLX one eleven one twelve. Yeah. One one. Yeah, so the um, the KLX KLX is faster by like two three seconds. So the um, the light B with the BAC two thousand and seventy two volt battery is lagging behind in like by like two almost three seconds. Okay. Um, so we took the KLX out for one last uh, lap session, and we pulled a one eleven and one fourteen. Okay, and the light B. But once again, the light B the earlier lap. We pulled a 111. That's actually one of my best times on the light B. Okay, and that was 19 laps. And you can see, you can see, kind of see the times here. It looks like we're get, we're get, we were pretty fast, and then the bike just kind of got slower, and then I kind of like, kind of hung around the 113s, and then the yeah. So it looks like. It looks like after the 14th lap, the bike gets got really slow. Yeah, we're doing like 115s. That's almost it's. I actually commented on the video like, oh, it feels about it's as fast as the Soron battery now, and that looks like it was true because we're pulling one 115s now average on at the at the tail end here. So kind of like in the middle and top. So. So yeah, the bike is definitely faster when the battery has more charge in the beginning. So that's why we were able to pull those faster times, okay? And then and then obviously the tires just warmed up too, so that helps. And then it it just kind of just goes downhill from there, okay? So we got the fastest 112, 19 and then average 114, okay? So, so these are all the compiled data right here, okay? Um, we got KLX data the fastest times are 110, 111, 111. We'll say, let's just say 111 is the fast. Yeah, one because 110. This this 110.9 is like almost 111. So, I would say 111. And then so its average times were about 113. Well, 113 is the median here. Okay, we'll go by the medians. Um, so so you got your 113 and a 111. Okay. So I know this is what this is what you guys are interested in right here. Which is faster, the KLX 170 or the Light B? Obviously, the KLX is faster. But um, so our fastest times were go range from 115 to 112. I would say I don't know. We were staying in the 112 the whole time. I would say the 112 was the fastest. That's the median right there, right? Oh well, 113 is the median, I guess, but. We'll just say 112 because we had more more 112, so that's the average. Um, and then out of average times, we hit 114.3 twice. Okay, that's that's pretty between between all the lap sessions. Can you believe it? We got the same exact times, average times for the for those lap sessions. So it was 114.3. Um, that's actually the same as this KLX right here. So. So that goes to show what 112. We're we're doing 112s, and one 112 versus 111. So oh wow, um, <laughs> okay, this is some interesting data here. Okay, so the average was 113, and the average here is 114. So that just goes to show. The light B isn't trailing that far behind from the Kalex. There must be something. It must be because the the light B, you know, it gets slower and slower as as you as you ride it on the track. That must be what's kind of throwing off the times and stuff. But according to this data, the light B is only like one second slower than the KLX. So if I was to race the KLX and the light B on the track, the KLX would probably pull just slightly pull away, slightly pull away um, from the light B. So so yeah. And the light B, you know, would probably have a harder time trying to catch up to the KLX. That's what I imagine. If, if I was shadow racing myself, I would say the light B will start. Well, the KLX would start pulling away on the light B slowly. Okay. And the light B wouldn't be able to keep up. Okay. And then obviously here's the light B, 60 volt. 
if you guys want to know how fast a light B is compared between the light speed battery and a stock Sauron battery is um, was this 112 112 versus 115 here okay and then you've got uh, 114 and one let's call this let's just man I don't know it's kind of like in between <laughs> let's just pick the lowest time 116 we'll give, we'll give it a little advantage 116 versus 14 so you figure what do we hear 112 and a 115 three yeah you're you're talking about like two three seconds the 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 Sauron battery light B is two three seconds behind the the 72 volt light B. It makes a big difference when you when you got a better battery. When you, when you can move those electrons faster, it makes a big difference. You can see two three seconds. So, so so that's what you got. Light B two three seconds slower than the 72 volt light B. Okay, the 60 volt light B is two three seconds slower, while the 72 volt light B is. Yeah, about a second slower than the KLX. So I'm actually very impressed with that. Um, I'll tell you now, the 60 volt, yeah, the 60 volt light B is about as fast as a 125cc figure, okay? Because I raced the 125cc, um, I, I drag raced it, you know, and the power was about the same as a 125, uh, four stroke, okay? So you figure the, um, the light B with the 72 volt battery is slightly slower than the KLX 170. Okay, slightly slower. So you figure we're not quite there at the one. It's a, it's technically it's a 166 cc by the way. Um, technically we're not in the KLX. We're not in the 170 cc class with the light B. But if I had to give it a cc size, this light B 72 volt battery. I would say a 150 or a 140. So I would say, yeah, I would say the uh, the light B is about as fast as probably as the the KLX 140. Okay, if I didn't have the big bore kit on the KLX 170, it would be, this would probably be able to keep up with the KLX 140. So that leads me to believe when when the race when we go race this in a few weeks, we should be able to keep up with at least a like with a 140 or 150, but. I'm not gonna lie, those those little 150s, they're fast. So um, we kind of got our work cut out for us. So we'll, we'll see how the light B does <laughs> in a few weeks. We're gonna have a super boat race. So, um, I, but it's just gonna be all pavement. Okay, so interesting stuff. Two three seconds here, one, uh, one second from here. So you and the light, and then we figure out the light B is probably about as fast as a KLX 140. KLX 150, so somewhere around that 140, 150. So, so we kind of from going from the 60 volt to the 72 volt setup, we graduated from 125 to about a 140. Okay, and then, um, but we can't quite keep up with the KLX. That K, that KLX is fast. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I put, like I said, I put a lot of work into it. Okay, so that's some interesting data there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, yeah, Hades and Mega did a lot of work to compile all this data, and and then like you know, I, Hades and Mega was quite meticulous with it. <laughs> um, I will have a video with the fastest lap times going up against each other between the two bikes, and I'll have a separate separate videos for the fastest lap. Okay, so check that out. Um, and uh, yeah, really interesting stuff. Uh, so my 72 volt light B is about as fast as a 140 or 150. So that begs the question how fast is the light B with the with the BAC 4000 and the 72 volt battery because I can tell you now uh, in the quarter mile times the uh, between the BAC 2000 and the 4000 you're talking about like a second almost um, the the BAC 4000 is about a second faster than the BAC 2000 okay because I've been drag racing it a lot and um, so you figure if it's a second faster and this is a second slower than this you figure with the BSC 4000 we're pretty much neck and neck with the KLX 170 okay not gonna lie so there's no way I'll tell you this there's no way this the KLX 170 can compete with the with the CRF 150R I've, I've tried it dude those CRF 150Rs are no joke so 
just be, just going o over the the engine size it that doesn't factor all the data in because it's dependent on like the what kind of bike that was designed for you know and the klx is not a racing bike okay but neither is the lib so <laughs> okay so so yeah just because it's a 170 doesn't mean it's super duper fast okay because you can have a really fast small displacement bike too so so take that and take that into account too okay <laughs> So lots of interesting stuff here, but I figure you can probably keep up with a, a 150cc. All right, thanks for watching. Check out my check out the other videos. Thanks for watching. All right, here's we go. Can't wait to do the KL, uh, the BSC 4000. Um, also, I will uh, I will uh, copy and paste this, and I will put. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I can put that. In the, uh, I don't know if I can put all this in the description, but I'll I'll try to. I'll put this stuff. I'll put the final data. All this stuff, if you guys want to oogle it real quick, you know, or you want to oogle it more slowly, <laughs> I mean, um, I will put it in the description, all, all this stuff right here, okay? So so you guys don't have to just, or you can just pause the video, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. All right, thanks for watching.